time's now 4.48. Let's get over to Dave. That is just absolutely astonishing. It is, and they were about 14 miles apart from each other where they made landfall, which is just incredible. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago was Ada, and then, of course, a few days ago was Iota. Iota now this morning, a tropical depression as it works its way through El Salvador there, the small country there in Central America. You can see San Salvador showing up on the map, and, well, that's where it's moving, into the Pacific. Now, it's not going to be a tropical system when it gets there, uh, losing its tropical characteristics, and uh, actually, with the Pacific <coughs> hurricane season about winding down just like the Atlantic is, too, uh, but you can still see still circulation with this still bring heavy rain to Central America with some of the bigger outer bands still over back across part of the Caribbean. But uh, you can see here it's not going to last much longer as it goes into the Pacific there and just becoming a weak low at that point. Now, aside from that, the tropics, we are watching two other features. You can see where Iota is located. We also have another area low pressure trying to form here over the Southwest Caribbean. Hurricane Center has lowered the chance to 30% now, so not going to be quite as organized as it once was. A low chance of development into depression over the weekend. Uh, something to watch, but nothing we have to worry about, which is good news. <clears throat> to the north of that, though, a uh, low chance for development with this area here, kind of between the Bahamas and Bermuda. Not much to it right now, but as we get into the next couple of days, that area will see a low forming, and the models kind of take it there, maybe toward Bermuda, if not over Bermuda, and then across part of the Atlantic. This will stay out in the Atlantic, uh, but it could become maybe a subtropical storm, so kind of a hybrid type system, and that one uh, would get the name Kappa if it does become a named system. So we'll see if that does play out right now, though, back here at home, chilly weather out there. Not too bad again in the South Shore 59. But look at those winds. Yeah, 14 miles per hour. So definitely quite breezy out there. North of Lake 40 there, Bogalusa 41, Slidell 43 in Hammond. There's your cold air back to Baton Rouge and Homa. But then the rest of the South Shore into the 50s here because of those winds helping to keep things warmer. 41, Mandeville, Covington, Slidell, Franklinton at 44. Picky and you're coming in at 40 degrees. 53 for you in Bay St. Louis, Long Beach area coming in at 40. 47 degrees this morning. Metro area about 58 across the West Bank here from Gretna Harvey to Marrero. River Ridge at 60, but Metairie at 59. So is Gentilly back to Littlewoods and 40s there again. Still in Homa, but 54 in Chauvin, 68 in Grand Isle and Buras coming in at 63 degrees. Look at those winds though. 14 gusting to 22 in Kenner, around 18 sustained there over at the Lakefront Airport. So we do have some breezy conditions here south of the lake, north of Lake Little to no wind up there at all. But throughout the day, we'll warm up into the 50s here slowly. I I should say by 9 o'clock, it's only 59, 64 by 11 a.m. So mid 60s, that is it for lunchtime today with those breezy conditions. You'll want that jacket or sweater throughout the entire day. We'll get to about 69 degrees here on the South Shore, 71 slide out, maybe 70 Bogalusa, 68 in Bell Chase. Gulfport could be around 70 degrees for today. Normal high is 71. Now we don't have any rain to speak of. What we're looking at here is basically reinforcing a shot of cool air. This ridge of high pressure is building its way back to the southwest and helping to draw down more of that cooler air to the area make it a chilly but less humid across our area and you can see here we do have some 30s up there uh, but 40s from Memphis Jackson back to Shreveport Lake Charles Houston as well in the 40s how about Nashville at 33 just above freezing there Atlanta at 41 this morning even Jacksonville Florida 46 degrees now you'll notice we will be dry through Friday, a little rain Saturday, small chance on Sunday, but we're talking 20% and that's really most of you staying fairly dry. So today's gorgeous weather will continue tonight. Clear sky out there, a couple clouds down along the coastline and we'll see a few more clouds building in throughout the day as we head into Thursday, making it mostly sunny, maybe a few coastal sprinkles out there. Heading into Friday, we could see maybe a few stray showers trying to sneak in, mostly down along the coastline, so really nothing really big, but otherwise look for plenty of sunshine back across the area. And look at this high temperature trend warming out of the 60s tomorrow back to 73 and near 80 as we head into Sunday. So we are going to continue that warming trend and looking ahead to next week, the next six to 10 days warmer than normal temperatures expected. This does encompass next week through Thanksgiving. So normal again is 71. So be a few degrees above that. It's nothing too warm, but it won't be too bad. So we're trying to do Thanksgiving outdoors this year because of COVID. Well, may actually look pretty good right now, though, looking at dry weather through Friday, small chance rain Saturday, Sunday, Monday and into Tuesday as another front comes in on Monday.